Joining me with more is Will Humble. Will is the executive director of Arizona's Public Health Association. Um, Will, I want to ask you about this report by Bloomberg saying that President Biden hasn't really made any drastic changes from the Trump administration's plan. Vaccine rollout was already on track to meet the goal that Biden set. So how much can he really control in this situation? Well, you know, much of what he's dealing with is what he was given by the Trump administration in terms of the execution of the contracts with those vaccine manufacturers. Uh, but I have to say, um, one of the best things that, the, that President Biden could do is to improve communications with states. One of the challenges, probably the biggest challenge that states are having is that they don't know from week or haven't known from week to week how many doses they would receive. And that's really important information so that they can plan what to do in the follow-up week. This, this is both of these initial vaccines are a two dose series. And so you have to know what's coming in the pipeline so that you can plan the appointments for the second vaccines um, and modulate that with those initial vaccines for new patients. So communication, uh, there's also the issues of production and supply. What are you seeing there in Arizona? I mean, this vaccine is something that everyone that I'm talking to really wants to get in their arms as soon as possible. Yeah, the biggest challenges in our state are really local issues. Our state health department put together a website that were, people were supposed to go to to register for appointments. It's a one-stop shop, but that website was developed very quickly and was never tested. And so seniors who are of the top priority group to get these initial vaccinations are having a really difficult time navigating this website. So while there is plenty of blame to place on the previous federal administration, at least locally in Arizona, the problems we're having are state local problems with the lack of effectiveness and planning at the state level. I, I'm seeing that as well with my parents trying to find them appointments, but I can't even go online to help them. Um, I want to get your reaction to results of the new Johnson and jo Johnson one dose vaccine, a 66% efficacy so far, not as effective, but Dr. Fauci calls it a good shield. Could this be a game changer? Well, it certainly could be a game changer, and I'll tell you why. These two initial vaccines, the mRNA vaccines, have really stringent holding requirements, temperature requirements, and so forth. The great thing about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and as well as the others, the Novavax that's in development and AstraZeneca, are that those are just refrigerator vaccines, which makes them a lot easier to get into pharmacies, uh, primary care doctor's offices, distribution points here in the U.S. Also, globally, these are very important vaccines because they're inexpensive. The holding temperatures are much easier to do. And with Johnson & Johnson, it's a one and done. A single dose and you're finished, greatly simplifying deploying the vaccine. And so just because it's a little bit less effective and not at that 95% threshold, it has other advantages in terms of deploying it into the community that make it, in, in many regards, more valuable than Pfizer and Moderna because it's so much easier to use and store. And Will, about 30 seconds left, but I gotta ask you about other parts of the world. Uh, Europe also having problems with the vaccine rollout. So what would you say is the biggest takeaway? What are we learning from this experience that we're seeing all over the world? I, I'm gonna give you an answer that you probably don't expect to hear, but it's when you go into the voting booth in the United States, Think about who you're voting for. Do you have confidence that they could effectively deal with emergencies, in this case, a public health emergency? What we're seeing in the U.S. is that depending on who your governor is and who they've appointed to these key cabinet posts, that is largely driving how effective your response is. So who we vote for really matters.